Almost nobody understands the implications of MSTR, a leveraged Bitcoin proxy, getting added to the NASDAQ index and QQQ index fund. Over the last two decades, index funds have grown nearly exponentially. Billions and trillions of dollars have moved into them, and now it's the world's preferred low-cost, long-term savings tool. Retirement accounts, family offices, ultra-high net worth individuals, and nearly everyone with a little amount of wealth buys these funds or allocates following the index. Why? Because historically it has been a great way to invest and save for the future. But there's a core premise behind index funds that most people are overlooking. It's the idea that markets trend toward efficiency. Index fund theory argues that markets reward efficient capital allocation over time. This is a critical premise that makes index funds work well over the long run. Almost all major index funds are weighted by market cap, meaning as companies get larger, index funds increase their allocation. And as companies get smaller, index funds decrease their allocation. Index funds are perpetually just following or copying the market by design. Now, while this has been widely accepted as a great way to invest and save for the future, when it comes to incorporating Bitcoin into the same conceptual strategy, it gets thrown out the window. Bitcoin was obviously the best performing asset of the last decade plus, not just in terms of price, but also in terms of its sharp ratio. Bitcoin's returns more than justified its high volatility, as it has a higher sharp ratio compared to every other major asset class. But again, Bitcoin is still ignored by a large majority of people in traditional finance, yet it is inconsistent with their index fund portfolio allocation theory, buy the winners and sell the losers. You would think with 15 years of Bitcoin's outperformance that someone would suggest that maybe markets are trending toward efficiency and maybe Bitcoin is worthy of an allocation that would grow over time as Bitcoin continues to grow as that's how index funds work. This creates a very clear contradiction. On one hand, Bitcoin isn't a company, so it can't be added directly to equity index funds. But on the other hand, the core idea behind index funds, markets trend toward efficiency, doesn't align with dismissing Bitcoin as a bubble, especially given its track record as the best performing asset of the last 15 years. One of these assumptions has to give. Either markets aren't as efficient as index fund theory suggests, or Bitcoin deserves serious consideration as a major component of every portfolio. This is why MicroStrategy, MSTR, being added to QQQ marks an important shift. It's a backdoor way for index funds to start incorporating Bitcoin exposure without directly holding Bitcoin itself. And while this development might seem subtle, it forces traditional finance to start following its own rules, rewarding performance and market efficiency, even if it means doing so indirectly through a leveraged Bitcoin proxy like MSTR. Thanks for watching, everyone, and see you next time.